Use this universal blitz scheme to get easy pressure off the edge. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about a defensive uh, strategy uh, scheme that I used in years past. Actually, a couple years ago, I was using it ext extensively. I jumped out of it in 2018 as I found other defenses I was exploring. I went ahead and lab this particular defense recently uh, in 2019 and it still works so um, um, a lot of guys aren't really talking about it so I figured to just go ahead and show you how easy it is to set this defense up and uh, what's great about it is that you can you can effectively go ahead and dictate how your opponent is going to play offense and actually set them up for some big play a uh, trap plays on third and fourth down based on how you dictate how they play their game so the defense we're going to take a look at is going to be the 43 over, 43 over. And uh, the base defense uh, plays we're going to look at is going to be the Will Blitz 3. Uh, another play we're going to take a look at is going to be the Cover 2 version, which is going to be the Fire, two, uh, fire Zone 2. And then uh, another play that we can jump into would be maybe an Engage 8. It's a good way to go ahead and throw your opponent off a little bit for a look. Uh, and then we have the Mike Will Blitz. So uh, this is just these are just uh, different plays. Uh, you can also jump into to the corner blitz uh, to uh, to actually throw your uh, throw your opponent off. So I'm going to show you the cover three version of this, and we'll jump into cover two, and then basically jump into um, the other variations of this play too. All right. So basically, this blitz is extremely easy to set up. You're going to base a line by hitting your your wire triangle button and actually taking your left stick and flipping it off to the left. Uh, you just want to get your defense set up a little bit better. You're going to go ahead and take your defensive line. You're going to slide them off to the left. So shift your def defensive line by hitting the left bumper and flicking your left stick to the left. And we're going to crash your defensive line or slant the defensive line to the left by hitting the left bumper and hitting the right stick to actually uh, uh, put them like this. Now what this does is it, it forces your offensive line, your center, your, your left guard and your left tackle to actually go ahead and compensate for four uh, uh, blitzers. Now, how do I uh, overcompensate for that? I'm actually going to go ahead and take uh, my middle linebacker or my outside linebacker and put him over the right guard and hold the trigger. And what's going to happen is you're going to get some pressure that's going to come off the edge right there uh, with it. So now the running back actually blocked it, but a lot of times if you've got the running back on the opposite side like this, they're not going to block it. So now as long as there's no um, tight end actually blocking over there, uh, this blitz will actually be set up. Let's go ahead and snap the ball and watch how that pressure comes in like that. So the defensive line, uh, the offensive line actually gets a little bit jumbled up, uh, but this is a very easy and fast blitz that you can go ahead and use against your opponent to go ahead and keep them honest. So this is great blitz to go ahead and use against any kind of like um, uh, empty sets because you know that you're going to get those those pressures off, off the edge. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get this set up one more time. So here he goes, the pressure off the edge right there, and it's just, it just coming in clean. He's going to have to slide protect his defense or block his running back. He probably ought to have to put a running back on the other side uh, for that for that pressure not to get in right there. So uh, right there it got picked up, and it's just because I wasn't going ahead and um, not holding correctly uh, right there. So uh, let me go ahead and show you this in cover two and how effective this is in cover two. So right here, uh, just one more time right there so you can see how that fast pressure comes off the edge. So let's show you how cover two shell works. Same setup. So with a cover two, basically it's going to be the same type of a look that you're going to have. So you're going to crash that defensive line off to the left. And they're going to use one of these line, uh, uh, linebackers right here. And you're just going to put them over the spot and play the middle of the field. And you can see the pressure actually comes off clean right off the edge. He's going to have to make a fast read. So I'm going to shift our line off the edge. And then we're going to go and crash them off to the left. And we're just going to try to preoccupy that guard, get yourself a free, clean look uh, to the to the QB. So, cover three, cover two, pretty much the same type of look. It really doesn't matter. Let's show you the man version of this blitz and why uh, this is actually really good. So, one of the man, one of the the man versions is this Mike Will Blitz two, uh, and uh, basically you're going to be setting um, a, another defender off the edge uh, like this. Now you can go ahead and give your opponent the same type of a look if you want to um, and uh, what's going to happen is now you're going to have very fast pressure coming off the edge and now you've got man a man read so let's go ahead and show you the same th type of look we're going to crash this down we're going to go into the man blitz or the man version of this blitz 
and I can I can go ahead and take this guy I can drop him back into mid read I can man cover him up on any person I'm concerned about so if I'm concerned about Gronk getting open and me delaying I can go ahead and man him up and uh, basically I've got dual coverage right there that I can get that pressure off to the edge or if I wanted to if he's, if he's blocking more guys I can go ahead and uh, basically go ahead and, and take that extra guy and actually send that pressure after him. So that's just another way you could do it. You can see the dual pressure comes in now uh, with the way the blitz is set up. So where do things get a little bit exciting with this is that you've got pressure that you can show to your opponent every time that you actually do this, but now you can go ahead and start playing little games with them. So let me show you what I would do uh, just to play games with my opponent. Uh, just so they they have a hard time stopping this defense and, and then I can catch them uh, making some bad reads and bad choices. All right, so basically what I would do is I would go ahead and make the following adjustments. I'll take my cover two man. And I'm going to go ahead and change that with engage eight. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that as is because that's going to be the base play I'm going to call out of, uh, out of the huddle. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually probably have... Uh, basically cover three or cover two is one of the plays I'm going to jump into but I want to do that engage eight to go and get a guy down to the box so that's gonna that's gonna kind of uh, mess around with them a little bit so let's go ahead and, and, and est establish this so we're gonna take this uh, and be my um, uh, we're gonna use this as a, we're gonna turn this into a cover a corner blitz I'm gonna take Tampa 2 and I'm gonna switch that into uh, that basically cover two version of it which is that cover two fire so we're gonna fire fire two zone and then cover three version of this I'm gonna go ahead and actually put uh, we've got the cover three version which is gonna be the wheel mic blitz and now out of the huddle what I'm gonna call is my base play is gonna be the engage eight and the reason I'm doing this is that this is gonna take that safety down to the box uh, he's gonna bring this guy down to the box and this is gonna give me another guy down to the box that I can do this so if I go ahead and jump this jump into uh, cover two now, of course, one of my guys might be out of position, but that's going to bring that safety down to the box, and it's going to take away any kind of a fast seam route that I might be able to use against them. But now I've got I've got that pressure that I can use against them real quick. Right here, I can go ahead and jump into the wheel fire blitz and basically use the same type of a setup. And right there, the actual blitz gets picked up, I think, right there because of the way I had, had the setup. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. So I got the pressure set up right here. And you can see the pressure comes off very quick. Going to the mic blitz. Got that set up right there. And I've got the dual pressure right there. The running back locks, but you can see I still get pressure that comes in. And now this is where things get a little bit interesting. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and crash off the pressure off the edge. And I'm going to go ahead and take this guy's. I'm going to put him in, into uh, blitz angles right here. And now I've got pressure coming off the opposite side. And it's actually going to throw your opponent off because now you've got dual pressure coming off of both sides. I'm going to show you how this is actually going to. Most players, what they do with this defense is they'll start rolling off to the right. They're going to get away from the pressure, get away from the pressure. And because I've got this guy blitzing off the edge, he's going to go ahead and mess up where he's going to roll to. So if this guy keeps rolling off to the right, he's going to go ahead and roll off to this defender right here. So I'll show you how this, this blitz sets up. So once again, we're going to show the same, my opponent the same look. I'm going to go ahead and shift my defensive line off the left. I'm going to crash him off the left. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, basically take my guys and, uh, and take them and actually go ahead and do um, all zones by hitting the left bumper and clicking up on the right stick. And then we're going to go ahead and blitz again off to the right-hand side. So this is going to get this blitz set up like this where I've got these guys over. And because I've got pressure, now I've got dual edge pressure coming off of both sides, and it's going to mess up his reads a little bit. So now I've got a cover three shell. So we're going to slide this guy's over. We're going to blitz, blitz all. These are two quick adjustments. I'm going to go and throw in, uh, throw in this guy right here. And now I've got another pressure coming off the edge, and that's just another way you can attack your opponent. And you've got blitz, blitz zones over, over the middle. So this is just another way that you can attack your opponent. It's going to keep them guessing on what's going on. If he starts rolling off to the right, you're going to have this looping pressure coming off the edge uh, with that outside guy that's going to get him. So guys, if you do like these tips, make sure you hit the like button. 
And once again, I'll be rolling out uh, more defensive schemes and more different types of plays uh, to go ahead and take your game to the next level. So my subscribers, thank you for your support. To my Patreon, thank you for your support. And until next time.